Dear students, now we are going to discuss BJT configurations and its comparison in detail. Bipolar junction transistor is a three terminal semiconductor device. The three terminals are emitter, base and collector. Depending on the input, output and common terminals, the transistor can be connected in any one of the following three configurations. Here the BJT configurations are common base configuration, common emitter configuration and common collector configuration. Okay. Let's compare common base, common emitter and common collector configurations. For this common base configuration, emitter terminal can act as the input terminal, collector is the output terminal, base is the common to both input and output. For this common emitter, base is the input, collector is the output, emitter is the common one. For common collector, base is the input, emitter is the output, collector is the common terminal. Okay. So next circuit diagram. For this common base configuration, the input voltage is applied between emitter and base. Output is taken between collector and base. For this common emitter, input is applied between base and emitter. The output is taken between collector and emitter. For this common collector, input is applied between base and collector. Output is taken between emitter and collector. Okay. So here the input current is emitter current. Here it, the output current is collector current. For this common emitter, input current is the base current. Output current is the collector current. For this common collector, input current is the base current output is the emitter current so that's what given here for common base input current is emitter current for this common emitter base current for this common collector it is base current the input voltage is applied between emitter and base for this common base for common emitter it is between base and emitter for common collector base and collector the output current is collector current for common base. For common emitter it is collector current. For common collector it is emitter current. Here the output voltage is applied between collector and base for common base. Collector and emitter for common emitter. Emitter and collector for common collector. So next parameter is very important one that is current amplification factor. It is defined as the ratio of output current to input current. For this common base it is represented as alpha that is equal to output current by input current that is IC by IE. For this common emitter it is represented as beta that is equal to output current that is collector current to this base current. For this common collector it is represented as gamma that is equal to emitter current to base current okay next we are going to compare the important characteristics of common base common emitter and common collector configurations the input resistance for this common base is very low for common emitter it is low for common collector its value is high the output resistance value is very high for common base high for common emitter and low for this common collector the current gain is less than unity for common base. Its value is high for common emitter. Its value is high for common collector. The voltage gain value is moderate for both common base and common emitter. Its value is low for common collector. So based on these four characteristics, these configurations can be used in a particular applications. For example, this common base configuration is widely used for high frequency applications because of this very low input resistance and very high output resistance. So it can be used as an input stage of multi-stage amplifier. Do you all understand this one? For this common emitter configuration, it is widely used for audio signal amplification because of these two properties. It is having low input resistance and high output resistance. So the next one is common collector. It is widely used in impedance matching circuit because of this high input resistance and 
low output resistance. Do you all understand these things? So the next one is phase shift between input and output. For common base, there is no difference between input and output phase because it is having 0 degree or 360 degree phase shift. But for this CE configuration, it gives 180 degree phase shift. That means if we are giving input like this, then we can get 180 degree phase shifted signal as the output. So this phenomena is used in audio amplification purpose. For this common collector, there is no change in the phase. Okay. Next, we are going to discuss input characteristics and output characteristics of CB, CE and CC configurations. For this common base, the input characteristics curve is drawn between the emitter current versus input voltage VEB. In this one, we have to keep this output voltage as a constant one. For each values of VCB, we can find out the relation between input current and input voltage. Similarly, for this common emitter, we can analyze the input characteristics between input current and input voltage that is IB versus VBE. Then for this common collector, here the input characteristics is drawn between the base current versus the input voltage VBC. Okay. Then the output characteristics is drawn between the output parameters that is output current versus output voltage with the input current as constant for each values. Okay, so these are the characteristics of CB, CE and CC.